In 2012, Missouri suffered a crippling drought, one that plainly and painfully underscored the challenges of a changing climate. David Luke is a farmer in mid-Missouri and has been growing soybeans and other crops for over 40 years. Soybean crop in 2012 uh, was very disappointing uh, for the lack of rainfall. Without timely rains, crops have a hard time reaching their potential. You just cannot grow soybeans without water. When you work 60 to 70 hours a week to produce a crop that you hope will get you through another year financially, when you don't have that, it's very disappointing. Scott Brown is an agricultural economist at the University of Missouri. His work places the effect of drought in an economic perspective. When you look at the 2012 drought, uh, soybean production in Missouri is down 55 million bushels relative to 2010. You know, that's enough to fill 3,800 barges. And it's not just one bad harvest. Drought stays with us for years and certainly hits us in the pocketbook. Whenever we have a drought occur, it is a ripple effect across time. There are a lot of factors that affect volatility for agricultural producers, but weather is the number one driver of volatility. Thanks to funding from the National Science Foundation's EPSCoR program, researchers across Missouri are making revolutionary advances in weather forecasting and plant sciences that will improve our understanding of the impacts of climate change. Patrick Market is a weather scientist at the University of Missouri. His work is leading to better prediction tools. We're using global weather data and the latest technology to model short and long-term weather changes uh, and trends in temperature and water availability in the state. And uh, by doing that, we hope to connect the dots between climate and precipitation events. Todd Mockler is a plant scientist at the Danforth Plant Science Center in St. Louis. His studies look at how plants are better able to adapt to drought. Our goal is to identify genes that will allow plants to be more drought tolerant. Using innovations such as this high throughput phenotyping system, we hope to learn how plants are impacted by environmental variation. Together, these discoveries will give Missouri the tools to predict the impact of climate change on plant productivity and will help farmers, just like David Luke, meet the challenges of a changing climate.